I'm the hottest round. I told your mother, y'all can't stop me now. Listen to me now. I'm lasting 20 rounds. And if you want me, then come on, get me now. Hey everyone, it's me, Psychedelic Babe, and welcome back to my channel. Now, in today's video, I'm going to be giving you a quick update on the Vibrant Reef. Now, today is day 34 of me using the Vibrant Reef, and the tank is looking really good. Now, you may remember from my other videos that I was having issues with my water for my LFS. Well, somebody came and brought me some water over the weekend and I did a water change and things are looking good. Now the water's back to looking crystal clear. Fish are all super happy and I've got some new additions in the tank which I'm going to go through now. I've moved a few things around and I'm afraid I think I've lost my goniopora. It's definitely not looking good and it's going to be getting moved out of this tank. I'm going to put it in the Nano. I'm going to see if it improves any. If it doesn't, then I'm afraid I'm going to have to say goodbye to it. It's a sad thing to do. Um, it was bought out of impulse. I shouldn't have bought it. I didn't know a thing about Goniopora's at the time. And I basically killed it. I did. I will admit to basically killing this coral if you look back on my previous videos it was absolutely fantastic when I got it and I wish I knew then what I know now so yeah that was pretty sad but on the good note we have this coral here this is the torch that I got from Coral Mania and it's doing absolutely fantastic my clownfish do go in it occasionally and the only reason they're going in this is because they have killed my hammer my female clownfish has totally destroyed this hammer there's three heads on it that aren't opening and she has she's just destroyed it so i'm hoping that she will eventually leave this alone and stick to the torch now you may notice up here i've moved the smaller Goniopora. It seems a lot happier here. It's opening, which is always a good sign. And there's one of my Duncans. Now, the other Duncan that I've got, which is here, hasn't been opening up for the past couple of days. So I've moved it to this spot here and I'm hoping it will open up. Over on this side here, I've got some SPS going on. And I got a new Xenia frag. And I also got my acans up here, they're doing really well. And I've moved my two Goniopora, there's one and there's the other one on the other side. Now I only moved them here yesterday, so I'm not expecting them to open for a day or two. Now if we move down here, you'll see that I've got a bunch of new corals here. Um, don't ask me what they are, because I haven't got a clue. Then these just came from an auction, they were super cheap and I couldn't leave them there, so yeah, they got added to the tank. I also got three Stomatella snails and I think they found Pinky, my original Stomatella snail, and I haven't seen them since. Um, my little Kenya tree is growing well and there's some Zoas which I'm going to have to put back up top in a bit. Now my GSP has all opened back up. I did get rid of the Aptasia. I took it out of the tank and it just slid off the bottom of the rock. So I have been searching the tank for more Aptasia but I haven't found any yet. Um, my Alveopora has been sulking today. It hasn't opened up like it usually does. So I do apologize for that. Um, my devil's fingers, they've shrunk, they've shrunk tremendously, but I've noticed that it's gone wider, so I'm hoping over the next few days it will start to improve. Over on this new plate here, we've got some new zoas, and they're doing really well. Now, you may wonder why I've put them on this rock, and the reason being is because they were just getting ruined by all the algae that's on the rock that's still there but as you can see there is a huge 
huge improvement on the rocks now the bubble algae is nearly non-existent if we go down here there's literally there's only a couple of them left so i think once i've done a siphon and a water change they will soon be gone my starfish is eating all the algae off the back wall which is always a good sign oh and my anemone my anemone is doing well again i'm sorry for the glare it did do a little bit of a whoopsie on me and i thought it was going to die but he's come back and he's moved and he seems really happy now <coughs> excuse me now the tank itself is starting to look a lot better the vibrant reef is working it is doing what it said it would do and i'm happy with the results now a lot of you are probably wondering what's going on with my water well as i've mentioned to a few people in the few live streams somebody actually gave a mystery donation to my GoFundMe page now this person's probably watching this video and if they are i want to give you the biggest shout out ever because with your help i was able to buy myself an rodi system which is on its way and i've also purchased myself some salt so as soon as that arrives i will be able to do my own water changes and hopefully because i've got my own rodi system i might even cheekily get myself a new fish tank because that was the one thing that always held me back on getting a bigger system and that was the fact of the water but now i don't have that problem so keep tuned because I might be getting a bigger tank now I'm gonna wrap this video up because I have got an unboxing to do which I will probably be releasing either later on tonight or in the morning and yeah so if you're not subscribed to my channel make sure you hit that subscribe button uh, make sure you hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos I'd like to give a big shout out to Coral Mania if anybody is still looking to purchase off them the 10 percent coral mania discount still stands so you've got until the end of this month to make use of it so make sure you take advantage of this offer so from me psychedelic babe i hope you have a great evening i look forward to reading your comments it's been a couple of days and i feel like i've missed out on loads so make sure you hit that subscribe button Make sure you hit the thumbs up and make sure you leave me a comment below. I love you all. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, share and drop me a comment below. Bye.